Hey everyone, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel. You guys know what time it is. We're going to be having a discussion revolving Caspa. So if you're enjoying these Caspa updates on a continuous basis, I do want you guys to smash that like button because it goes a long way and I appreciate that, of course. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look at what's happening with Caspa right now and of course what is yet to come. You know, a lot of discussions happening within the Caspa community. Some people actually going out of their way calling Caspa the next stable coin because the way it's currently acting. But we're going to take a look at it, see what is happening and of course what is yet to come. And yeah, if you're looking across the board, you know, majority of the market is still up right now in the green. Um, you know, you're seeing a few handful of coins here and there that are in the red. And Caspa is one of them down about 1.6% right now. Uh, price is currently sitting at 16.7 cents, uh, down about 1.4% as mentioned in USD comparative, also down about 1.3% in Bitcoin comparative over the past 24 hours. If you're looking at the market cap though, $4.1 billion and the 24 hour trading volume is at about 22.3 million. But before we get into any further, as always, just a quick disclaimer, anything on this channel is not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in cryptocurrencies. So we're going to start off with the Bitcoin dominance. And again, if you did watch my XRP update, I kind of covered this in there. You have seen the dominance pull down quite sharply. But remember that, you know, retest um, that, you know, we continuously was coming across back in August, uh, you know, towards this 57.7%. Uh, you know, now that is coming as a level of support for the dominance itself you guys can see you know dominance got supported by there and you're seeing the dominance picking up a little bit so in terms of getting excited for altcoins specifically i've mentioned this quite clearly i think um you know it's too too early you know, for us to be having you know those altcoin season discussions even though we're going into quarter four um i do believe bitcoin hits a new all-time high first before we see that altcoin season but remember november is a very important month for the crypto space because of course we are you know coming across an election which is going to impact not just the crypto markets but the traditional markets you know pretty much the whole world so obviously that is a factor we need to keep in mind if it goes the way people are favoring i think you know we do see altcoins rallying um you know after that but let's see what happens of course um you know obviously dominance has gone down which is giving a lot of uh, coins right now a um, chance to move up and of course casper is one of the ones that are still lagging um but you know if you're looking at bitcoin right now you know bitcoin is pretty much sitting where it has been over the course of the last few days even though we have seen a little bit of um you know consolidation happening around this range uh but you know you're still sitting at uh, the level where you want to see the price of bitcoin obviously it's not back above 64k but you can see we did retest 64 never managed to close above here and you guys know that's the confirmation level that i have set for myself and you can really understand how important that level really is um you know easiest way to tell is just based off of um you know that we retested two times and we never managed to actually stay above there but so far so good i'm not complaining about bitcoin's price just yet um obviously we're back above 60k we're in the 23.6 you know this resistance is not a small resistance so we need to keep that factor in mind with that said though you're looking at cas still having a really really tough time uh you know breaking out of this key resistance and you know like i said there's you know this conversation going on within the community saying you know caspa is a new stable coin uh but you know that's just people you know being funny and you know some people are trolling uh, but you know what you need to understand is take a look at it from this angle you know on oh, september the 6th where was the price of caspa september the 6th 14 cents and after that you did see it go up about 27.8 percent so pretty much reacting you know like some of these other altcoins that are you know following the bitcoin momentum but what you're seeing right now is having a very very hard time breaking out of that key resistance and i know i might sound like a broken record at this point to you guys but i'm sure you know people that view me on the regular basis understand how i'm important uh you know having a close above this key resistance really is because you can see we've wicked up off your back on august 24th we wicked up above here a few times over the course of the last few days every single time the price of caspa is not seeing that close that a lot of people are anticipating and that's one thing i want you guys to um you know obviously understand caspa needs to do and i've been saying this literally since august 4th since we broke below so we're coming up to literally a month you know, a month since we have not seen that close for good. 
of course, people are going to come out and say, you know, we did see uh, that wick all the way up to that 17.9 cents, but you're not seeing the strength within the bulls to keep the price above this key resistance. But I think that will change. Um, you know, maybe there are big whales that are trying to keep the price of Caspa down on purpose. But just a quick reminder to all the trolls specifically that are coming and saying, you know, Caspa hasn't done anything. I hope you guys know that at the beginning of the year, let's just go actually January 23rd of this year. Since then, if you accumulated Caspa, you did see it go up 119%. And since then, Caspa is still up, even though we're not at all time highs, it's still up 75.5%. And of course, uh, there's no secret, this was one of the coins that pretty much rallied, um, you know, late quarter four and quarter three last year. You could pretty much see what kind of a crazy, crazy rally this had. Uh, literally, if you go back on June of last year, since then, this thing is up 11x. And, you know, that speaks for itself. Of course, you know, people focus on, you know, the short-term targets. Why is the price not exploding? Why is it not going into the 61.8? Why is it not going into the 23.6? But you need to understand this was one of the biggest gainers over the course of the last 12 months. But, you know, there comes a time where you do see choppy levels. You do see boring price momentum. But if you have done your due diligence research, you know, patience is your number one key to follow. Let me know down below what you guys think. Love you all. See you tomorrow. I've been CryptoZX and peace out.